Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Ellen. If you're looking for some super awesome content to enrich your classroom or your homeschool learning, be sure and click that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on that bell for notifications. Today we're going to do a really cool experiment to help us understand osmosis. What is osmosis? Osmosis refers to water moving through a semi-permeable membrane. Water moves from an area of higher water concentration, which in our experiment will be vinegar, to an area of lower concentration, which will be an egg in today's experiment. This experiment does take a couple days to complete, so make sure you plan accordingly. For this experiment, you will need two uncooked eggs, three cups of distilled white vinegar, food coloring, make sure you don't use yellow, one third cup of salt, and two glasses. The first step is to pour three fourths cup of vinegar into each glass. Then we are going to put one egg into each glass. Shortly after placing the eggs in the vinegar, bubbles should begin forming. These bubbles are carbon dioxide. The bubbles tell us that a chemical reaction is occurring. We put our eggs into the vinegar about three o'clock in the afternoon, set them on our counter overnight, and then conducted the next step in our experiment about 12 o'clock the next day. During this time, the egg shells disappeared and water moved into the eggs. If you're feeling a little impatient waiting for this to happen, you can always check your eggs after about 17 hours to see if they're ready. It is time to remove the eggs from the cups. Make sure you use your hands to take them out as utensils may cause the eggs to break. We're going to rub off the white residue on the eggs. This is the egg shell. You can use your hand to rub off the loose egg shell, use a rag, or the very best option is to put your egg under very low running water and rinse it off, which we did off camera. If your eggs still have some eggshell on them and it's not wiping off easily, simply put fresh vinegar in a cup and put it back in for around six hours. Please note that the time frame on this is not an exact science. It may take longer or it may be done sooner. Make sure you carefully rinse the eggs with cold water when they are done soaking. The shells are now completely gone and only the semi-permeable membrane is showing. This semi-permeable membrane allows some materials to enter and some to leave. For our next step, we want to measure our eggs and document it. I am also going to rinse out the glasses. You can either rinse them out or use new glasses. This time we are putting different solutions in our cups. In our first glass, we place one cup of warm water and four drops of food coloring. In the other glass, we are putting in one cup warm water and one third cup of salt. We make sure to stir that together very well. Once the salt and water are stirred together, this glass also gets four drops of food coloring. Now we put one egg into each cup. We will come back and check on them in four hours. When you remove the eggs from the solution, measure them again. Did they grow, stay the same, or shrink? If water entered the cell and the egg grew, then you placed it into a hypotonic solution. However, if water left the cell and the egg shrank, then the egg was in a hypertonic solution. And if nothing changed in the size of your egg, then you placed it into what is called an isotonic solution. You can try placing eggs into different solutions in order to classify them as well. One suggested solution would be corn syrup. Try putting an egg into corn syrup overnight, then the next day, place it into a cup of water. Be sure to measure and observe your egg through each phase. A couple more questions you can ponder on throughout this experiment are, what differences do you see in between the two eggs? And did you notice the eggs acting differently while soaking in the different solutions? 
I hope you guys have a lot of fun completing this activity with your students. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below how it went. Also, we're getting a lot closer to summer break, so if there's anything specific that you would like me to focus on, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to be proud of your work, productive in your day, and positively joyful.